This six capitals conference that we're running really underpins our five-year program for investment in the Yorkshire region uh, starting in 2020 and running through to 2025 and it really is a new way of looking at how we can meet the needs of our customers, meet the needs of our, our environment and make sure that we invest in the right way that works for our communities and the environment regionally. I think infrastructure is one area where there is a massive challenge. On the one hand, we're decarbonising the electricity network, but there's, there's loads of carbon in the materials we use and the way we construct new assets. And so there's a fundamental challenge to say, what is it we really need to do? Can we build less um, and still meet the need, the social need, the environmental needs we, we are trying to meet? And once we've started to build something, well, can we, can we really do it in a smarter way? Can we use low carbon materials? What's really great is that we've got people coming from different perspectives, but sharing what's good, but also what isn't so good. We're challenging each other. I think we're passionate. We're trying to do this in a structured, coordinated and constructive way. We all believe we've got a climate crisis. We've got to do something about it. So this is the Six Capitals Conference. And I won't talk about all six, because the focus is on three. It's about human capital, societal capital, and environmental capital. And what that means is that we can measure each of those three things to make sure that when we go about our business at Yorkshire Water, we're doing the very best for customers, doing the very best for society, and we're doing the best we can for the environment with all the investments that we make. So at Yorkshire Water, we are significantly lowering our carbon footprint and we've already gone a long way to do that by decarbonising, if you like, the electricity that we buy. I think that some of the key issues that I've picked up on today is about actually the importance of getting a clarity of message and a clear sort of vision from the, from the start. So if you're wanting to get everyone collaborated, you need a shared objective. If you haven't got that shared objective, it's always going to be challenging for some partners. It's so important for us to work together. I think now more than ever there's a real feel around partnership working and knowing that we can't make a difference for the environment uh, without working together. So we all have expertise, we have connections, we have land in some of our cases, particularly in ours. And by bringing that together, we can join that up and make a bigger impact for people and for wildlife. Well, we've been looking today at the social capital that Yorkshire Water and its partner organisations in Yorkshire contribute to. What are we doing about poverty? What are we doing about excluded people? What are we doing about people with dementia? And it's been an incredibly rich conversation because there is so much interest in recognising that Yorkshire Water does provide water to five million households every single day and take away dirty water, but it has a much bigger responsibility to help the region get through some difficult times. The challenges that we face are too big for any individual organisation and we need to do it collectively and because the pace of change is needed we have to do it together otherwise we are not going to get to where we need to be. Well I said in my opening address that none of us can do this alone but we can all do it together and I honestly believe that because without the networks we all have different experience, we all have different skill sets, we all have different perspectives. The only way we can tackle such big challenges like we've got here is by collaboration and collaboration will truly get us there.